Hi everybody, Brian from Steeda.com. Here today going through some of the technical highlights of installing our rear sway bar for the 2020 and later Explorer. Now Steve's gonna help you out, but a couple of things to take note is in this video, you'll actually see the prototype bar that we moved from. We tested about five different prototype bars and the last of which is coming out for this video and in the final product goes. Now a couple of key notes here are that the exhaust will need to be lowered and great care of the heat shields needs to be taken. Watch this very carefully as Steve, who literally put the STE in STEDA and helped put STEDA in so many winter circles, he's gonna talk you through it. Here you go, Steve. Okay, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna change the rear sway bar on this new Explorer. First, we gotta take the heat shields off this side and the left side. I'm gonna take the, uh, the nuts and the bolts off for the heat shield. I'm using a 10 millimeter socket. You can use a 10 millimeter wrench. And on the back side here, we have uh, two little screws. I'm using a seven millimeter socket. And then we have one over here. We're just gonna pull it down. We gotta drop the exhaust down, let it hang down a little bit. So I gotta remove the hanger, the rubber hanger. I have a tool, this tool that works, or you can put a a pry bar in there and it'll work just as well. What I recommend doing, putting some WD-40 or some uh, silicone in there to help the rubber slide. There we go. There's one, now we gotta do this side. There's another two hangers, one right here, and then one over here that we gotta take loose. bolt, 10 millimeter head. I'll bring this bracket out so you guys can see it. You don't have to take it off. This bracket bolts in and the bolt goes right through there into the body. And then there's another nut up here for the heat shield. That's good. I guess we'll just let it hang down. All right, now we're going to take this heat shield loose on this side.
Take the little screws out now. So now we're gonna take the uh, sway bar end links loose. It's an 18 millimeter wrench and a T40. We're removing our prototype bar for the production bar right now. This was a test fit piece and we checked it out. It worked real well, so we're going to continue on with the new model. We're going to be doing the uh, urethane grease. Inside here, you want to fill all the all the uh, cavities. Urethane grease. There's the split. Open it up. Pop it on. There you have it. I loosely started all the bolts, the pivot bolts. Now I'm installing the uh, sway bar end links. Just loosely. All right, now I'm gonna tighten the pivot. Again, it's a 15 millimeter socket.
Now I'm gonna put the other side. All right, there you go. Now we just tighten up the sway bar end link on both sides. Well, I'm using a Torx T40 on the stud of the sway bar end link to hold the stud from turning when, so you can use force to, to unscrew or screw the, the nut. Then we're gonna put the heat shields back in, bolt them up. And then we're gonna rehang the exhaust.